Okay, so this is just a small little tutorial that I decided to make. Um, this tutorial by no means is how you should make a Minecraft movie. I'm sure there's plenty of better ways to make Minecraft movies. Simply, this is just how I like to make Minecraft movies. More than anything, I think you should enjoy making the movie. And so, this is the way I enjoy it best. And I think we'll just go ahead and get started. First off, um, I like to use Fraps for my screen recorder. And I like to record at 60 FPS. It's just my favorite. And I like to use Sony Vegas for my movie editing. So that's what that looks like. Now as far as what uh, Minecraft I use for recording my videos, I use PhotoRes plus Biomes of Plenty. So I'll go ahead and launch the Technic Launcher right here real quick. And there's the Technic Pack. This is what I use for all my movies. Go ahead and click play. And we'll go ahead and let that load up. Alright, so Minecraft is now loaded. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm sure we'll just do this one. I just made a copy of the world that I play survival on with just friends and family. And I use the copy just for filming. Um, one thing that's nice is uh, I can use this world and I don't have to go make my sets. They're already pre-made. Sometimes part of the fun of making a video is just trying to make a video of what, with what you already have. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, here we are. Pretty interesting little place. Well, let's hit M. Let's look around. Where should we go make a film? Da -da -da -da. There's plenty of places. Ah, uh, sure. Let's go make a film here. Why not? Teleport. Oh, I gotta open it up. Teleport real quick. Wow. Okay. By the way, I use a texture pack. This is this texture pack comes with a Technic pack. It's made to fit this specific version of Minecraft and everything. And if you do on like other versions of Minecraft, it doesn't look very good. So I don't know why. It just it works well on this version. Well, video settings good. So I guess we'll go ahead and make a move. Me, I'll come up here to the houses up here. All right. So fun little houses. Let's just start filming here. So I'll start filming right here from in this house. Now I have a hit O. This brings up the camera mod. This is how I like to have my settings on. I just like to have those two selected. I don't really need anything else because I record everything in third person. Just make sure it's clear first. Okay. So if you want to set a camera down to start recording, you can place it down like this or like this. And you hit P to set your camera 1 and your camera 2. So it's P1 and P2. And then if you want to start the camera moving, type in cam, start, the amount of time you want it. So I wanted it for 15 or 14 seconds. Just hit enter. There it goes and my skin is awfully weird. So that's how you get the camera moving. Something to remember is when you're in this view you can't interact fully with the terrain. If I start hitting things it actually might crash. You can't you can't open with buttons, you can't open doors. Anytime I do want to go through a door, I always just place a slab and go through. Or a pressure plate, I guess. So we'll go ahead and we'll just start with our introduction. Suppose I wanted to start with my beginning scene. I can go hit P, 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 and another P there. Set the camera in different places. Make sure I hide out of the camera. Cam start. Now, when I go to record with Fraps, I record, or you hit F9 to start recording. So I'll go ahead, three seconds. Now, F9. So I just hit F9 and now it's recording. 
Da -da 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 -da. Just let it go, let it go. Then when you're done with a scene, hit F9. So I just hit F right now and it stopped recording. If I hit F12, you can see that's giving my FPS counter. When it's yellow, it's not recording. When it's red, it is recording. But you want to make sure it's out of the scene because it will record at the frame rate as well. So once I've recorded that, and you can go and just import it. There it is. And there's my first scene. Okay, I want it to fade in, why not? There it is, fading in. To reset the camera, it's cam clear. Oops. And now maybe I want to come over here and start with me coming out the door, why not? PP. If you don't want the camera move, you have to at least hit P twice. I'll put a plate down just so I can come out. I'll make sure I come straight out because I can't see where I'm going. Okay, that'll work. Cam start, 20 seconds, or if I want to, I can even do 500 seconds, why not? F9, it's recording. I walk out. Then I can, in my mind, decide what kind of things I'm saying. Hey, maybe I'm saying, hey, it's a wonderful day. I don't know. Looks around and that's it. Then he walks off. F9 start stop recording. Import the next clip. Maybe I want to make it slowly fade into it. And that's just a simple bug. Never mind that. Sitting there talking. Oh, save that as something. Whatever. Next scene. Maybe I want to record myself coming down off the steps. And I have a shadow since I'm using shaders, so make sure that you don't see your shadow. Sometimes I do, but whatever. Most of the time, I probably don't want to. Sure. F9 to record, and I'm coming down the stairs. F9, stop recording. Import the next. I probably want to delete the part before I was moving, so I'll go ahead and do that. PP again. Cam star, let's do 12 or 12 seconds. F9 to record. Across the bridge I go. And I just fell off. F9 to stop recording. Next scene. Cut it off right about there. Cut it off right there. And there's the next scene of me walking to who knows where. And you can just keep doing that, keep adding different scenes. You know, just however you like it. Maybe I'll do just one quick last one. Oh, uh, actually, don't want to see my shadow. I'll just put it right here. Not even. Sometimes, if you want to, when you hit when you hit P, that's the way your camera's facing. So if you go like this, P, 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 P. Make the camera move between those. F9. Da, 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 da. Maybe I'm talking right there, who knows. Sometimes I like to make the movie and then go put all the text back in later. I meant to go after. 
Uh, share delete after that. Now, some people like to record their voices. Some people just do text boxes. I just do text boxes because I personally don't think my voice is very good in the narrative. Besides, when you use tech text boxes over voices, you're allowing your audience to decide in their mind what the voices should be. And so I think Minecraft movies just tend to be better for me anyhow by not using my voice. I think I'll just end the video right here since I don't need to make a full one. But random spider web, I don't care. Okay, um, start 20 seconds, why not? Recording, say hit F9, I walk in, get stuck in the web, I say something dramatic to the camera. Sometimes I imagine in my mind what I might be saying. And I walk off. And it's over. At the next scene. Maybe I'll make it fade out in the end. see yep and it fades out and then maybe oops maybe it says the end right there why not who cares the end Now, sometimes I add text while I'm, you know, doing each individual scene, but I find it's more fun to add the text all at once after you film the whole thing, and then just try to make things work. Because to tell the truth, I don't necessarily make videos as much as I build them. To me, it's no different than building a house or a castle in Minecraft. You know, part of, you know, most of the movie making, most of the purpose is just to have fun. So we're going to insert video track. And I'm going to use this for my text boxes. Uh, I like 36 the best. Keep that in there. Whoops. Zoom over here. So I first come in, I say something right there. Say, should I say, my what a beautiful morning. And I tend to like to put my texts at the top. Ah, what a beautiful morning. Maybe I'll make this text fade in too. Who cares? My, what a beautiful morning. And that's as long as it needs to be, so I'll just make it end right there. Control C, Control V. think I'll go for a walk. The text is shorter so I'll make it last long, not as much time. I think I'll go for a walk. And off he goes for a walk. And then the last place, please remember I want to say something dramatic. I think I'll go I'll put my cursor over it so I can watch as it types. Jump off a cliff. Cause hey, I'm filming in. I'm in creative, anyways. I won't die. <laughs> Whatever. Who cares? It's not that important of a movie, anyways. Off he goes. Maybe I want it to stop before he leaves out of the scene. And there he goes. So you can go through and make the movie that way. If you want to add sounds or music, add audio track. I think I'll go and just add a quick 
sound, maybe just some Minecraft music. Sure, let's use this one. Put in the music. Oops. Make the music fade in. Maybe maybe the music's a tad too loud, who cares? Perfect, perfect. Bring the music to the end. Maybe I want it to fade out. Okay, save it. Now let's see what happens when I try to watch it. Okay, so I'll go ahead and let it play in full screen. Well, or, excuse me, I'll not let it play in full screen because my screen catcher doesn't like full screen as much. But I made it a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and press play and just see what it looks like so far. That's all there is to it. I mean, when you do this yourself, it's up to you. What else do you want to do? Do you want to add special effects? Do you want to align the music to make it nicer? If you want to put the music in first before you start filming so that the scenes fit the music, whatever. It's basically whatever you think you want to do, whatever you enjoy the most. There's, always, there's tons of different things I do, different special effects to make the movies look cooler. I mean, if you have questions about that, you're more than welcome to ask. Um, that's really all there is to it. I mean, after you're done, the only thing you have left is to render it. And I like to come in here. When I render mine, I do mine as main concept. And I do mine at 1280, 720, 60 FPS. And then you just click render and it'll render it. And you'll have your movie and you can upload it. Pretty simple. I guess the last thing I did not mention is I like to record all of my movies in 1280 by 720. So I'll come here and I'll just exit out real quick and I'll show you what I mean. If you come over here, let's see, launcher options, video settings, I make it so every time it launches, it automatically launches in 1280 by 720, and I always film that way. I didn't always until I got a little bit better, but um, that's just one of the best settings for, for YouTube, and it's still fairly high definition. That's just what I like. So with that all done, there's not really much more to say. I mean, if there is any questions you have, you can just ask me. Um, that's it. So thanks for watching.